Hi everybody, uh, it's Paul here and I wanted to just say a few words uh, about somebody called Ken Garland who sadly died uh, last weekend. Ken Garland was uh, uh, an important figure in the history of the development of graphic design in Britain, especially in that period during the 60s. Uh, it turns out I've always known about Ken Garland because at the end of the 1960s my French aunt gave us uh, this. It was a, a sort of game, a dominoes game, uh, developed by Ken for Galt Toys. And you can see here that it's a tiling game. So there were lots of, oops, that's me. There were lots of tiles with uh, red, blue and black stripes on them. Some are curved, some are straight, some have junctions and so on. And even I, aged about 10, understood that this was linked in some way to the famous London Underground transport map, which had been designed by Harry Beck. Well, it turned out that Ken was a person who in the 1960s, as a young graphic designer, was interested in, in Harry Beck and the development of the London uh, Underground transport map and had found Harry Beck. And he'd he told the story of how this amazing piece of graphic design had developed and the story of, of, of Beck's relationship, troubled relationship with uh, London Transport. And uh, I remember reading about, about that in one of Ken's texts for the Penrose Annual. So Ken Garland did work for Galt Toys. He was a graphic design historian. He wove together a story of progressive uh, design in Britain and it was a story of progressive design that I wanted to be part of. Well, by a great good fortune, I was able uh, over the years to meet Ken and uh, he was always very friendly to us at Central St Martins. And there are a number of books here which tell the story of his design practice. He pioneered a sort of mid-sized design practice. It was him and a few associates and they did work for people they liked. They did some work on a pro bono basis. Famously, Ken worked with Robin Fior and a whole load of youngsters in the 1960s on the campaign for nuclear disarmament posters. And I've been lucky enough to find some of those posters and add them to my collection for the Aldermaston March and the Committee of 100 and so on. So I want to salute Ken Garland and say that Ken, you were my kind of genius. Thank you very much. Bye.